gentlemen, if you missed us, it's been a while, 767 days to be precise, but we are back. It's 2024, they said GTO was gone, but we are here and we are back with a brand new series to build up as we look towards season four and the full return. We have the Porsche Cup North America. As always, I'm Dylan Pick and I'll be taking you through the action of tonight's race and the upcoming four weeks of action. First off, we bring you action from Road Atlanta with a stacked grid and we'll get into a bit of information about that in just a second, but let's just take in the fact that we are back. It's been a while, we thought we was gone, loads of people thought we was gone, but we are here. As I mentioned before, the Porsche Cup North America is going to be a a championship designed to kind of get us back into the swing of things, get us back into racing and the joys of GTL. So, it's a bit different from our typical GT3 series, which we were known for. So let's have a look at some information then on the series. Everyone will be using the Porsche 911 GT3 RS V922 version from 2022. Yeah, so from 2022. So it'll be a spec series of a 10 minute qualifying followed by two 20 minute races. And race two will be a fully reverse grid. So the winner of race one will start from the back right is bearing anyone who turns up late and misses the qualification. If you miss quali, don't do race one as well the rules we've come up with. Obviously there's two races, we're gonna have a different point system. Race one, the winner will get 25 points all the way down to 15 if he gets one point, and then race two, slightly a bit different. 15 points for the race winner. And then everyone scores points again, but a bit closer. Vital points that can be earned over a small four-week championship to be crowned the Porsche Cup North American champion. For drivers, some familiar faces, some new names there. We'll start off with number eight, JD Shadine, the German, a GTL season one veteran with a race win to his name and multiple podiums. And just decided that he's also a dad, one of the oldest drivers on the grid. But he's also one of the loveliest. The debutant, Patty Joe at work. Teammates with Zenki will get on to later. Noah O. As it's meant to say, but that is formerly known as Domestic Mango, the head of development at the Nexus development team. 15th of the world at the iRacing Formula 4 European Regional Tour, and a 16 year old who is on his way to a second professional contract racing under the Nexus Racing banner. Not racing with us tonight, Kentucky. Kentucky Kana, formerly known as KML Brown, fan favourite, out with illness today, but another season one veteran, and podiums in Division 1. For Season 2, Division 3, drivers and team champion Alpha Pino, again absent tonight, but will be in the season. Another debutant, Hot Strike 007, first of the two drivers of the Nexus development team, the second of them being the Haxi Racer, number 37. Number 47, Zen Q, two wins and three podiums to his name in GTL. Teammates with Patrick Joe at work in the bagpipe racing outfit. K. Kevin Giotto, one of the uh, most popular members in the Gran Turismo esports scene, designs a lot of deliveries and throughout GTL's three season tenure, developed a lot of deliveries for that. And it's the owner of Nexus Racing. It's Van der Speck now being shown as J. Van der Speck, a DES 24 hours of Le Mans and 24 hours of Daytona winner. Number 77, Mr. Osaka, two GTL podiums and will be teammates with JD Shadime. And someone who's not on this list, DJJC, who is a reserve driver, part of the DSR MSW outfit. JM Devil, the season one, division one champion, multiple race wins and podiums to his name. The 18 year old racing under the Halix outfit. K Steel, another fan favorite GTL veteran. Casey, a two race wins and five podiums under his name. And another DS, 24 hours of Le Mans race winner. Not racing tonight, or oh, putting out of the series. Terrible Tim, sad to miss him. Again, another fan favourite. And finally, Formula known as Cam West, C. Dot West, a race winner and 10 podiums to his name in the V G T E L Alpha, and a season two division three run up and the team's champion. The calendar then for these lot will be racing under. We start off here at Road Atlanta, and then next week over up north. 
Upstate New York to Watkins Glen, then back down to sunny Florida for the Daytona Speedway, and then across to the opposite side of the country in California at Laguna Seca for the final race of the season. We're not far away from qualifying then. Looks to be so far nine drivers in the grid. And we are just moments away from the return. So then, is everyone excited? Because I know why it's been a while. Two and a bit years to be precise. We're not far away from Can we go over some track facts then? This Road Atlanta circuit. Opened in 1970. The Grand Prix circuit's been in use since 1998. The lap record is held by a Persian runaway LP1 car. Set by Christian Klein, a 107.05. Don't think we're going to get anywhere near that today, unfortunately, as nice as that would be. And it hosts notable races at with the uh, IMSA Sports Car Series, also known as the Pitti Le Mans, I think probably the third biggest race on the IMSA calendar behind Daytona and Sebring. Also host Motor America, the motorbike series over there, and then the Trans Am GT3 series. Not many popular series race around Road Atlanta. I have 13 corners. A set to face these drivers, and it is a tricky course that these drivers are going to have to face. As I throw everything about, that's always lovely. Apologies if you heard that. But we are ready then to get qualifying. On the way here. So drivers are out on track then, the first qualifying session of 2024. GTL is back in the way, everybody. And everyone piles out of the pit lane for a 10 minute qualifying session. This is no own or domestic mango, whatever you prefer to call him as. Out front though, JM Devil, tipped to be the favourite here. It's showing to be quite a close grid, potentially. Expect times in the mid-17 It's a fairly short track compared to everything else we've got. But there's a lot of time to be gained. And as we pile our way through, but the 10 cars will be taking qualifying. We leave Svanna Spectrum joining us later on for race two. But we'll follow Devil around then for his opening lap around Road Atlanta. Up towards turn one, you can take a, a lot of speed through here. As you can see, stepping out on the rear end, I think these cars are they're very similar to the GT3 cars, but they're very sensitive on the braking. You have to brake in a very straight line. So turn one can catch up, but you can take more speed through. Whereas you think now the trickiest part of this course, the S is downhill trying to pin it as flat as he can as you right rise up the hill trying to push it as far as he can without taking a, a corner cut on exit down towards one of the main overtaking spots probably one of three overtaking spots but again it's a bit risky down 
at turn number six and seven for double right-hander. Now, a full blast. These cars do have DRS. It's not a big wing, so it won't impact them as much. But it's a, certainly a long run down towards the chicane at turns 10 and 11. This will be the best overtaking spot. And the cars will be tucked in behind them for a long, long time. Over a kilometre for straighters, I believe. And the best overtaking spot. You can take a lot of curb, however. And they're trying to keep it pinned flat through 11. Oh, sorry, through 12 and 13. It's going to take a lot wide berth. He does it nice and a 17-7 is the opening time set here then. Next goes Zen who falls further back. Then Giotto with 120. Casey at 118. Cam West further back. So already Jam Devil setting the benchmark, putting himself ahead. And heading into the pit lane, then it seems that Hot Strike won't be looking to set another lap then. Patty Joe at work, a 120.9 puts him at the bottom of the pecking order. They run very wide, taking a huge chunk out of that section of the track. Therefore, again on the back straight. Three attempts faster than Casey in second. Less than a tenth upon his personal best, though. Much better line through there. Again, he lost a bit of time at turn one, taking a, a huge, not a huge tank slapper, but definitely drifting wide. That won't help him at all. Up towards the line, he doesn't go quicker in the end. Now to Noah. He doesn't improve. Zen Q. He's lost a bit of time for Cam West up towards the line. He improves only to stay fourth. So then out of the final turn, then DJ improves up to six with a 109.5 up towards the line. Zen doesn't improve, lost a lot of time saving his tyres, it seems. Devil already flying, a bit of a screech of the tyres, though, having to back out just a little bit. And Patty Joe drifting wide. Obviously, it did not improve. Next through the double left hander is Casey. Down the back straight, giving a bit of a toe to the cars behind. One of them being Cam West in the Lynx Racing outfit. Devil out of the final turn, then we'll follow him on board. For a lap here, then. Up towards turn one, taking it wide. He's drifting and screeching along again, then having to, again, feather the throttle, losing a lot of time. And again, all sorts of sideways. The devil's gone for a spin there. The man on provisional pole falls a long way back. Casey improved the 10th on his best time, signing his way up through turn number two there and three. Down the Etis and up the hilly rises, up towards turn number five. How much do they push it sideways again? A bit of time first split. Coming up, he's up though by just under two tenths of a second. The double right-handed first one, he can take more speed in than you think. We have to be so careful as he gets all sorts of sideways again. And then gentle on the front line exit. Those two corners there, you think he can take more speed through there. And accelerate a bit earlier. Turn seven deceives you a bit because of turn six. But the way these cars accelerate so quickly, look like a GT3 car, save a GT, with the downforce of a GT4, a lot less downforce. But the speed of a GT3 car can throw you off a bit, so braking in a straight line is very important when the car steps out on you. And as well as that, how you put the throttle on. So you actually have to put the throttle on a lot later than you'd think out of seven, or you will run wide. Casey two temps down on his best, up next to Camp West, he doesn't improve. Coming around the final turn, DJ, part of the MSW outfit, he improves but stays 7 for 19 free for the German. Now 
out the final turn. Then comes Patty Joe on debut here. 3.2 seconds off the back of Devil won't improve. Race winner in GTL formerly in season three Zen Q heading down the S's. Good exit, Vauer out of five. Grace all the way down towards six and seven. All right on board of him. Gets a bit sideways again, has to save it. Gentler through seven. Gets a throttle on nicely there, but probably in for wrong gear as you can hear. Up to the chicane, then at 10 and 11. Closing in on a personal best. Six thousandths back. Deep into the chicane. That's not going to help him. Into the pits then as we have the final few minutes. The final less than two minutes left in the qualifying. DJ improves again, but stays seven. Pat final turn for Zen to improve. Then we will not. Up the hill comes Noah. Fourteen. Hundreds back. Patty Joe and Cruz, but they will stay down in ninth. Hot strike yet to set a lap. So Devil's first lap then still puts him top. They'll be able to make it round for just one more lap. So two should Casey and Cam West. Behind them is Patty Joe. So then, first lot of drivers to start their final lap will be Noah. Nor Osbald is done. Up towards turn one, then. Crucial hiking gain. Over half a second here, and he's through completely a bit wide of the apex, but foot down all the way. Top of the hill then, up towards three. Again, he carried more speed than you think, and he does so nicely, stays above the track limit. Down the hill he races, through four. Up towards five, new fastest lap there for Hot Strikers, Noah. Ventures off towards the club circuit, and that will be his qualifying done. Final laps then for Covern, Steele and West. Devil has been there as well at the, at the uh, double right hander, so he wants to take here. A crown at final turn, a soccer improves up towards fifth position. It's an 18 2 for the German. That'll be his qualifying over and done with. DJJ C. Currently sitting in eighth, best time of a 119 flat. Down the back straight, lovely view, hot strike just behind him. And he's improving. I'll be enough to catch Zen Q if he can. Pass up on the Polishman. Up towards the final turn, then what's it gonna be for DJ? Up towards the line. It is an improvement up towards fifth. Big improvement there, Zen's knocked down, improvement hot strike, but it's not enough, Zen Q in towards the pit, he goes, Cam West out of turn number 11, up towards turn 12, currently sitting in fourth, Charles Baldston's done, he doesn't improve, no improvement either for Giotto, Casey, he's parked it, and no one else is there. On the track then, so it will be JM Devil who will sit on pole position here. Waited around, he gets a, a, a bit of a victory lap then. His first lap on track, not many people came in and took fresh tyres. But a 1.17.7 fastest lap will put the German on pole position, as people predicted. Hot strike actually improves again there, it seems. 
timing just flashing up. Should be Devlin Casey then to check the check flag. And they do so. And we'll be ready for for race one in just a moment's time. So then, JM Devil on pole here at Road Atlanta. Second will be K Steel, the not Oz Bolston. Starts P3, Cal West P4, DJJC P5. It's a all MSW Road 3 actually with DJ and Mr. Osaka. So then we'll have a quick look at the results from qualifying there. As you can see, Devil on pole with a 117.7 followed by K Steel, a 17.9, two tenths back. Norris Volston, just under half a second back, puts in P3. Cam West, P4, 5 and 6 is an, MS, an old MSW line of DJJC and Mr. Osaka. Then K Cavern. Seven and he'll share the row with Zen Q and P9 and P10. It's going to be an all Dutch row five with Hot Strike and Patty Joe. So then, ready to get under away here. At Road Atlanta for race one. Put your predictions in the comments who you think is going to win. Let's get it all ready in the live chat, everybody. So then we are ready to go. Lights out and away we go then at Road Atlanta race one of the Porsche Cup North America, presented by GTI, is on the way in Devil. Really good start up towards turn one, a big lead. Casey didn't have the best of starts to Camus, but tagged in the back, really sideways. Through turn one, clean we go, though. Camus all over the back of the door. Osbos will also run off towards turn three. Things about to that's going to be a bit of send. Makes contact, but no one runs off the track yet. P6, Mr. Osaka. Thank you, trying to make a move down the inside, but Mr. Osaka's got a corner cut penalty, it seems. And thank you, is up towards P7, making an early move on Giotto. Giotto running very wide and into the gravel on Patty Joe. Will get past the back into the lead. Casey has beaten Devil. And now in towards turn number six, sliding through Devil. Retakes the lead further back. Noah and Cam West scrapping away. Round the outside, Cam tries to go. He had him to three feet, and then Casey race on as they enter towards the back straight. DJ trying to get involved further back as well. But double leads from Casey, Cam West, and Noah Osbald. It's going to be a drag race all the way up towards the chicane then. Up towards turn 10 and 11. Free wide further back, but double inside line. Noah Osbald trying to file his way through Casey. We'll have the inside bow in turn 10, and Cam West is further back. Down go Cam West, and there's a pile up there. And Cam West has gone diving for him, pointing, and DJ drives himself into the lead. And that was absolutely chaos there. On the opening lap, there's been a massive shot in DJ into the lead then. As we come on to the end of lap one, and no one has seen that one coming. Casey in second, further back. Zen's made a massive gain of Mr. Osaka into third. Trying to defend from Zen Q as he got towards turn number one again. Zen Q couldn't quite get it done on an Oars Balderson. Probably with a bit of damage. Holds on further back. Devil falling a long way down in towards seven. But back to the action number. As we race down the hill, chasing Zen Q. Casey. On the back of DJ, hunting down that race one win, and Cam West will be in a lot of trouble for the back, and Shoes will have some work to do there. As so they head up towards turn number six again for the second time, Casey thinks about to move the back sounds of it. The penalties for Mr. Osaka, the penalty kill zone coming up just shortly. Noah getting past Zenku at seven, Hotch trying closing in further back. Devil with 
work to do there. Back up towards the battle for the race lead again. Casey not close enough to make the move in towards turn number 10. We'll just sit back and hold on to it. Penalty kill there for Mr. Osaka. Noah Oswald still has got past the Zen Q. Half a second back to Hot Strike and Devil, and Devil is moving quickly with potential damage, but he's not far behind. Hot Strike has been dispatched, but back up to the battle for the race lead. Covering the inside line, there is DJ. Followed by Casey, Casey, compromise line. Might be able to get him up towards turn number three here, but smart. There's ever as Casey is thinks better of it. Racing down the hill again, Casey a bit wide and wayward down the S's, but he's right on the back of DJ Piers and moving towards five and there's contact and he's off. DJ's off the second time in three laps, the race lead has been sent off. And further back, Cam Weston, Kay Curvin battling it away. Cam West trying to regain what was lost. Osaka's got himself up now as Casey has dropped down. Further back, Devil and Zen Q's gone off, and it's all sorts of Casey. It's gone all sorts of sideways there. Devil's quickly made his way back up to fourth, but side by side, Casey and the Wars Bolston. Up towards turn number 10. Damage is only on weak, so damage self repairs as well. Round the outside, Noah's Bolston. Fred has a brilliant move there by Noah. Dispatches the prior race leader. Further back, Zen and Hot Strike as well in the battle for P number five. There's action absolutely everywhere we go. The backpipe racing driver trying to fend off the Nexus development driver. Further back, then P7 is Cam Weston. Giotto in P8. DJ, young recovery drive, led for a bit and now down in P9. Penalties galore potentially coming up. Yellow flags up ahead, someone's gone off. We'll see who that is. And Hot Strike seemingly taken an accident there, and Patty Joe rounds out rear. Back to the front row. A four way battle for the lead as we approach the first five minutes gone. Mr. Asak leads from Noah's Bolston. Casey, who has a track for his penalty, and Devil. Devil will be able to talk right to the slipstream here, and Casey. Devil has all the penalty actually, so that gives a bit of breathing space. Two for two up front, further back then Zen Q. Started P7 making his way up. No, Rolls Bolts to trying to get his way past. And Mr. Sox is going to have the inside line bumping away. They go down up towards turn 10. Last of the late breakers. Another cut to cross Osaka. And he's in for gravel. And Zen gets past him into P4. Avoids contact at the end. Honking Paul not happy with it. Mr. Osaka still leads. Casey and Devil back to the front. They go. Cam West has made his, uh, made his way up towards sixth position and up the hill we race once again. Up towards turn number three. Devil a bit wide. That would give Casey a bit too breathing space as they run down the hill. Down that mistake will follow Devil all the way. Up towards turn number five. Casey a bit wayward, but he's bridging the gap there. But he goes sideways and he might be a bit vulnerable. Up towards turn six, we've seen Devil and Casey go ahead of four. Two tenths of his personal best vote is for Brit. And Casey sideways drifting through six, and Devil's gonna fly right past him. Fighting from the inside, no Casey can't. They're gonna have to hold on, and a big mistake there by Casey drops him right down further back. Three way battle for P. Number four. Devil in the. Been looking to chase down Mr. Osaka, no one closer to make a move, but moves further back. Zen, Noel Bolston, and Cameron West is going to think about going free wide. He does, Cam Piers in late, free wide, they go, and it's happened again, and Zen has been pushed off. And honking the horn again furiously. Zen, the victim, free wide again, that's twice Cam West has done that, not the wisest of moves, and he might be looking at some penalties. Zen on the pressure now from DJ, the former race lead up towards turn number one. DJ, can he get the move done? Yes, he can comfortably. Zen, is he going to try and fight up the hill? He will. Side by side, they go again up towards turn number three. Look at the respect. DJ gives him the space, and Zen gets the move done. Brilliant stuff by the pole. He moves up to P7, back to the front. Mr. Osaka under a lot of pressure now from Devil Devil round the outside. 
He tries it up towards and there's contact and they're sliding around there. And they're scraping away late move there. Devil gets it done and we have a new race leader once again here. Casey trying to get back into it as well. Three way battle for the lead. Up towards turn 10, Mr. Osaka. Previous of the inside line, and Casey, a bit of a switch back there, down the straight. He's late on the brakes, but gets moved on and successfully into P2 is for Brick. Further back, North Bolton, 3.2 seconds back from Mr. Osaka, being chased by Calm West, and then battles everywhere we look. P6, DJ. P7, Curva. Zen back to P8 where he starts double leads. Trying to bridge a gap between himself and KC. Mr. Osaka. Oh, downhill. No Osbolston. Halfway through the race we approach. Things slowly starting to settle down. Devil trying to push that one second gap, but Casey's going to have to put his foot down and try and close up Mr. Osaka runs very wide back. Was Boston will enjoy that and he will close down on the German. Go back then, Mr. Osaka. That was Boston, Cam West, as we all go in towards turn number 10, top five, separated by five and a half seconds. Devil puts in the fastest lap of the race there, a 17.9, wants to extend his lead to over a second and break that toe. And for chasing Casey behind. Up the hill we rise once again through turn three. Comfortable there by Devil, Casey hunting him down. Right on board of him, shaky, two crossing grass in there as we lose him some time. They exit through the turn number five, sorry. Down towards turn number six again, closing in. Bridging a gap between themselves and Mr. Osaka, the race leaders are pulling away. Chasing back Cam West and Oz Bolston's camp. Bit of a shove on the back of Oz Bolston and Running very wide, Veris de Brit again. And a bit of a wrecking ball. He's Cam West right now, fastest lap of 18.2, but driving with a bit of anger, it seems, not doing him too good whatsoever. Halfway through the race, then. Devil leads from Casey. And Mr. Osaka, four seconds back, losing a lot of time. Now everything's settled down. P4 is Cam West for North Boston. Former race leader, DJ, down in P6. Giotto, P7, and Zen Cuba in eighth, chasing him down. Then Hot Strike and Patty Joe bring out the rear patch show a long way back. Back to the front row, 8 minutes 40 seconds left in race 1. A gap staying between a second and half second between these two, but two clever, clean and patient race drivers here. Now how to get the job done. Penalty there for Mr. Osaka as well, that could mean the cam could close up on him half a second that will be sat and gaining and gaining there is Cam West up towards the chicane is he going to be close enough Mr. Osaka defend late on the brakes there is Osaka is he's going to go deep into the turn and kind of cuts across Cam West there as they make contact in the rear exit of turn number 11 and down towards turn number 12 they go final turn up towards turn 1 Slide very wide of the apex is Cam West has come out. 
no one to gain a bit of time back and back up to the front level and Casey still hunting their way down. A bit slidey there from Devil up through five minutes again. Is it going to be enough for Casey to close down? Casey's going to need a very good exit. From turn number seven here. And he does so comfortable. Devil not so much sliding around. And Casey's going to be gaining all the way in that century and all the way up towards turn number ten. Up towards the chicane we go. Tucked into the back of a German is Casey Steele. Piers out, thinks about it late on the break. Deep he goes and he gets in them. Can he hold on to on the inside? Casey side by side, they go. Devil looks at the better exit. The case is going to be inside line through 11. It's side by side through turn 12. Someone's going to have to bail out there and Devil. Massive lift off. But Casey gets the move done. Brilliant stuff from the new race leader once again here at Road Atlanta. Through turn one, brilliant stuff there by the Brit. And Devil's not going to give up though. Pushing his way up towards turn number three, bit wide. Devil not so strong through here. Casey might be able to bridge up into the gap. Osaka and Cam West further back, but Cam West has got Pelham side by side through the S's. This is going to get close. Oh! Just about holds on to it. And Cam West back into the third for half second penalty. To the front, Casey bridging a gap towards. Uh, bridging a gap between himself and Devil. Sorry, Mr. Osaka, with that penalty. Sorry, to Cam West with that penalty to serve. It's just going to bring Mr. Osaka and Nars Bolston into this. We're going to ride on board with no one. We're going to get Pierre out there. If the action up ahead, side by side. Mr. Osaka comfortably front Cam West. Moves on the breaking a bit there and a bit of contact. And again, we're going to close back up to things here and riding right on the back of them. Noah's Bolston side by side. We go up towards turn number 12. Trying to do what Casey did. Cam's gone very wide and he's off. He's off and he's spinning in the home straight there. Cam West bins it in the grass. Oh, it's a disaster there from the Brit. He's made an absolute mare of that, and Noah's Bolston back up into fourth place, chasing down the jaw. Casey's bridged a big lead then between himself and Devil, Devil struggling. Following behind Casey. Second half lap is where Devil's strong, but following down where you're weaker. Doesn't do you any favours. That's where Casey's probably bridging the gap. He potentially has broken the toe. And we might get some daylight between race leaders for the first time in this race. Mr. Osaka, however, wishes he had daylight behind himself and Noah. But Noah chasing down for German. Fighting on for that podium position. Ahead of the Nexus development. Side by side up towards turn number 10. Gonna have to go the long way around. Mr. Osaka's been great defending. He cuts him tight there. But Mr. Osaka holds on. Four minutes left here at Road Atlanta. Nars Bolton for China, chased down for his first GTL podium. He's got a long way to go here. Mr. Osaka not budging as of yet. He's sliding around is the German. So we race up the hill again towards two and three. Oh, and now we're all sorts of. Shapes being thrown there as the rear end steps out of him. That's just going to allow DJ to close down. Once again, he's hunting him. In P number five. Zen's dropped a long way back towards P9 as potentially himself and Giotto have had a coming to get a hot strike in P7. But Casey, one point one second of the gap still stands between himself and Devon. No, it was Broderston though down the inside at seven and he's gone wide and can he catch it? Yes, he can. With not long left, that gives Mr. Osaka a bit of a lifeline and DJ, his, Mr. Osaka's teammate, is going to be having his sights firmly set on, on no as they go down the back straight. The gap under a second now, chasing down the second. Off the DSR MSW outfits. 
reserving for JD Shaddai. Through the chicane he goes. Gap now looking just under half a second. Brilliant line there through the final turn by DJ. Back up to the front, that gaps John down by just under a second. Battle for P8 still rages on with the other Nexus, Kervern and Zen Q as they come up towards the final turn. They'll take onto the penultimate lap here. Casey still leads, followed by Devil. Devil looking to get back to winning ways. He was often in the shadow of Ruben. But it's another SVV driver that leads him there, Casey. Causing him issues right now, and Casey's currently cruising along to the first race when Devil's going to have to put his foot down here. And it'll be two laps left for the race leader. And it will only be a two lap shootout for the race leaders. For Mr. Osaka and friends for the back. This will be their last lap then. 13 seconds between themselves and the leader. And it's only a lap Mr. Osaka has to last. DJ. Approaching half second between himself and Lars Bolston. Up towards turn three, they go. Noah looking comfortably like he might have this fourth place spot. And he will do his DJ penalties for the back. I don't think he's going to chase down Mr. Osaka. You can see he's pushing along, though. And that gap still over a second. Back to the race leader. That gap's gone up again to 1.8 seconds, another mistake by Devil, really on the limit, Casey fast slam, looking flawless right now, penalty served by DJ, in fact, will be daylight between him and Noah, chasing him down as Cam West in six, after the spin on the home straight, hot strike behind him in seven, Giotto and Zen still going at it. Up towards the final chicane, it's been a valiant effort there from Noah's Bolton to close down Mr. Osaka. But it's not going to be rounding out the final turn then, Mr. Osaka. We'll take the checkered flag and third place, followed by Noah's Bolton. And then the other MSW car in P5, that's DJ Cam West. Start to P4, finishes P6. Hot strike out the final turn, and he will take home P number seven. P eight will be Giotto, followed by Zen Q and then Patty Joe round them out. But the battle for the win, well, it's simmered out now. As Casey's driven along nicely, and Devil, not so much. Patty Joe will take flying and they will start on pole position here in race two. But he will start dead last then. He exits the chicane, he's got two corners to go, it's flying through 11. Out of, P, out of turn 12 and across the line, Casey wins! First race back in GTL history. AC wins race one here at Road Atlanta, followed by Devil. Now we'll have a look at the race results then in just a second. So then, Casey wins race one, followed by Devil and Mr. Osaka for the podium. Noel's Bolton takes P4, and just behind him, DJ. And after a starting P4 on a spin on the home straight, Cam West takes P number six. Hot strike on debut, gets P7, and Giotto P8. P8 
P9, Zen Kyuft falling along with down on Patty Joe will round them out on P10. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back after a short break here on the GTL YouTube channel. But we'll be back for race number two.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back then to VGTL official racing YouTube channel. And we are just moments away then from race two getting on the away. Here at Road Atlanta after a thrilling first race. Action pack with, I'm sure, penalties to be had. We'll be getting race two. Anyway, just a short moment of time. Have a look then at the starting grid for race two, full reverse grid. So, Patty Joby on pole position, followed by Zen King with the tanking to get that top spot. And then it'll be Giotto, Hot Strike, Cam West, fifth place for DJ. And then rounding out the back will be Nars Bolster, Mr. Osaka, Devil, and KC. They will be in reverse positions from them. Be under away for race two in just a short moment's time, then. Moments away from race two. So then, honking away, 10 cars take the grid, lights go on, and we are racing here again at Road Atlanta for race 2 of 2 in the Porsche GTL North American Cup up towards turn when we go, Chaos is already further back, Devil's trying to make Behind the Noah's Baldus has gone away through a count west and three wide up the hill they go trying to make his way into his lead. He's up in towards P2, but back from him is Shotto, and then Pastor already has fallen down from P4 from pole position. Noah's Baldus is chasing Patty now as well. Hot strike, Delk has been beaten by him and Casey has gained a place in the front back. Mr. Osaka, who's had a bit of a moment, it seems. Zen from Count and then shot to lead. Devils are up into fourth. He's moving on quickly. Count to the back on the Polish man and he pushed him very wide. And then he's collateral into Giotto. Giotto's gone through and Zen's off and Cam West is going to be in a lot of problem. And Owens Bolster with a penalty as well. Cam West leads though, but he's going to be in a lot of trouble later on. Penalty being served then by Owens Bolster. Past him will go Devil, DJ, and then Case, who's race up towards turn number 10 for the first time this race. Tucked into the back of DJ, then Casey up towards the final turn, but after one lap, Cam West leads. From Shotto, Devil, and DJ, Casey in the five behind him, cars, box, and box drive chasing his next development leader down. Mr. Osaka is a long way down in P8 after getting P3. And Zen, well, he's a long way back as well. Cam West, however, leading from the front wide of an apex there at four. Up the hill we go towards far. Further back, Devil's gone past shot time. And DJ's under a lot of pressure from Casey here to race one winner. Pulling out to the side, up in front rows, Giotto round the outside, tries to go to make making work, but further back, Case has gone round the outside of DJ, and he has made it work, now he's back in it as well. As once again, very scrappy stuff here, at Road Atlanta. Down the back straight, they go for the second time. Cam Wesley's from Devil, Giotto, Casey and DJ, Casey. Trying to put pressure onto Giotto and he's run right into the back of him. The race one winner is off into the gravel and he's going to rejoin. Zen might catch him from down towards P9 there. And I don't know if that was a break test or something, but not going to go down well with Casey. Starting around very short to the image and put himself back through as it race up the hill once again up towards turn number three. Three cars, they go, is sliding around there. 
was nowhere and in a bit of a nexus. Sandwich and Jotto's off. He rejoins and nearly takes out his Nexus teammate. He lets him through at the end, but Noah just about gets through. It. DJ up into P3, still being chased down there by Devil. Cam West leads, he's got a penalty. He's got two seconds lead behind him is Devil, then two seconds between them is Noah, who's side by side, down the back straight. Big O got past DJ. DJ wants to beat the slips in here, so one way down. Towards the chicane, Noah still a head bump. Up towards the kink at nine. We do the next one, Michael Giotto peering out for the kink spot on the inside line. There's DJ, he's going to try and fight it back later. He breaks, he goes, can the German get past No. Brilliant stuff around the outside there. Is Noah, hot strike, fighting off Mr. Osako, sliding all over the place with Nick, sit on the level for 12 and 13. Up towards turn and one, not close enough to gain. Cam West, time being eaten into there by Devil as he chases it down right on board with him as he races down the hill, chasing down British Shanks Park. Puts it across the grass there, massively sliding across the wall. Turn number five, two attempts on purple on his own, fastest slam. For German, sliding through six. Up towards seven. Brilliant exit there by the German. Chasing down the race leader there, JM Dev. Further back, we have Niles Bolston, who's hoping for a bit of a battle as he's also got the between Devlin and West. With that 3.3 second gap is getting bigger. DJ in P4, being chased down by Jotto. Fastest line there by Devlin for back. Casey all over the back of him is ZQ as they race down towards the final turn. Casey comes the inside line but bounces over the curb, but he might be more up towards turn one here. Zen thinks better and appears back into the slipstream. Up towards the long winding turn one, quick to the go, blasting up the hill. Casey bridging a bit of a gap between himself and Devon Allen, third back, Patty Joe in P10. Hot strike, still behind him is Mr. Osaka, who's had a brilliant exit from Fiverr and he's flown past the Dutch and into P number six. Further up. Devil still hunting down Cam West down the back straight. He's got a brilliant exit there, it seems, down to turn number seven. Gaining and gaining all the way up towards the chicane. Purple once again for the German. Second place in race one of the just joining us. He's made his way all the way up from P9 on the grid. Towards what turn he goes. A good job holding him off. Three attempts. So there. It's an 18 5 up front. Devon compared to an 18 6. He's still gaining on the racing on the back. Now it's Bolster. An 18 2. Francis out the top three. That previous lap from by him is DJ Gerber and Mr. Osaka.
Up for yeses, they go again. West leading that one, holding that final podium spot from Casey. On the exit of seven, then Casey not got the best of runs. Slipstream's going to pull him back in, but. It's not going to do him many favours. All the way up towards turn number 10 we go. Casey not close enough to make a move. That gap's going to go under three tenths of a second. And he is hunting as they approach the final four minutes. It'll be three laps to go for these lot. As they cross the line. Through 13, Casey right onto the back of Cameron West. Tucked into the slip tube. What do you think about a move down towards turn one? No, he thinks better of it, holds him down, a bit of a bump draft in, Cam West didn't like the extra speed there, all sorts of shaky shapes being thrown against, they run up the hill, through two and three, again, Casey tucks right into the back of him, bit wide there, was for Brit, down the hill, and then as they rise again, through five, what's the exit, it's going to be like, better there from Casey, and he closes down again, and again, as they dip down towards six, Casey gained a lot through here last time. We'll see if he can return the favour. Again, right onto the back, he needs a good exit here, but we didn't last time. What can he do this time? It's much better, and he's gaining and gaining. He's going to be gaining all the way tucked into the slipstream. Cam West is going to have to defend here. As they go up towards turn number 10, Cam West forces Casey as wide as he can. Covers the inside line. Casey's going to have to go for a long way round. Who's going to break later? It's going to be Cam West holding his position. And Casey just has to deal with it. A lot more tidy there from Cameron than he's been this week. Wider berth there from Casey. He thinks about it down the inside. Not close enough. And there's contact between the two of them. But they just about stay on track. Down towards turn one. Again, shaky there is West on the limit. The pair of these two. Two laps to go. Battle for the final podium spot. Race one, one of Casey chasing down Cam West. Finish P6. Down this as we go. Better line there from Casey. Again, gaining. Despite the dirty air and sideways, Casey drifts a bit. West gets away with one again as Casey on the limit. Oz Boulderstone's gained just a tiny bit on the race leader. Casey's got himself a penalty. He's half a second slow down for Casey. That'll be for track limits, and that might be a provisional podium spot for Cam West, barring any incidents. Up they go once again. Down towards the final chicane. Can they get another lap out of it? They might just be able to. It depends when they cut the timing bean. It could be close. And Cam West might get a bit of luck here as he, depending on his lap time, will take us one more lap. Casey, however, won't. So that could be the final lap for Casey and anyone below him will be on their final lap. Cam West might just, and I mean just, get a bit lucky here. Barring any incidences, two laps go both for the race leaders. They get back up to 3.2 seconds between as Boulderston and Devil. Down the hill now, it's do or die for Casey. Sideways he goes. Again, that gap gaining, but will it be enough for the SVV driver? He's tucked onto the back of him and he's really on the limit. Wide there through seven was West Casey. Great exit once again, and he's gaining a huge chunk of time. Could it be do or die now for the Brit? He's got to push it all the way. This could be the last chance for a podium here in the second race. Cam West forcing him 
as wide as he can, covering the inside line. Side by side, we're going to go. Is he going to dip ahead before the breaking zone? Up towards Ten Vego West later on the break. Bit deep in the corner. Casey, can he hold on to it though? Up towards under the bridge, they go through 12. Is it going to be enough? Are they going to beat the checkered flag? No, they're not up towards the line. Cam West is going to take third place. No, they're not. They've just beaten it. How have they done that? DJ's Osaka take the checkered flag. The Casey's off. Casey's off. It's going to be a podium there. But what happened there with Casey? We're not going to get to see. But the race one, race winner, deny a podium due to his own misfortunes. The tyres are spent. Really pushed it there. And Devil. He's going to be in cruise mode for the final 20 seconds of the race. He'll lead the championship. P2 in race one. He's got four turns, three turns, two turns to take now. You can see his tyres are absolutely spent. Round the final turn and Devil wins race two here at Road Atlanta and will go to the top of the standings. And a much better race two for Oz Balderson as he takes second place. There's going to be a potential podium for Cam West. Barring any penalties, he crosses the line in P3. And Casey crosses the line, he takes fourth place. And that will be it then. From the drivers. Devil wins up eight places, started P9. He wins race number two. We'll have a look at the results then from race two. Jam Devil wins from the Wiles Balderstone, followed by Cameron West. Penalty potentially to come for that man in both races. Curtis Steele for the background, P number four, and then behind him, it's five and six for the MSW outfit of DJ Mr. Osaka. Mr. Osaka, P3 in race one for drop down a bit, but made places in the race. Zen Q in P7, and Giotto in P8, and then the Dutchman's round out the back. Live in qualifying, it's Hot Strike and Patty Joe. That will be it then from us on the GTL YouTube channel. Welcome back. We are so glad you are all here to watch our return. We are well and truly back. Join us next week then. We'll have a look at the calendar next week. Same time, same place. Thursday night, half past seven for Watkins Glen. Where we'll have more thrilling action coming up. But Casey wins race one. Devil wins race two. It was an exciting week. Oh, it's an exciting opening race back. But thank you all for joining me here. GTL is well and truly alive. We have a heartbeat, we have a pulse, and we are back. But I've been Dylan Pick. Thank you all for joining me here on GTL Official Racing YouTube channel. Join us here same time next week for action from Watkins Glen. But until then, goodbye.